ideas for the designs and the thought behind this. Um, back to what Madison was saying, this was something that you know, I knew I wouldn't be able to see, but even the designs I came up with, you guys have blown out of the water. So first, um, I would like to give thanks to the people, to Ms. Paris. Thank you for uh, supporting the students to the Greek Life Office. Thanks for giving me the chance to speak here. I'm very honored. I'd also like to thank some of my friends that I will make here today, part of that originating group. Um, we all banded together as a community, um, as we have here. Um, this is Rachel Jackson, this is Thea Winston, this is David Bowery, his name with you, as you all are here. Also to Dr. Robinson, thank you for your support. Um, the University of Arkansas Facilities Management Team, all the studios, and our current locations. You will hear you to us. Back to that same point, Dietrich knew this is something that he wouldn't get to see, but it's more important than that. Um, we commonly hear the saying, um, be the change you would like to see in the world. It's actually misquoted. The quote actually states, we but mirror the world. All the tendencies present in our outer world are to be found in the world of our own body. If we can change ourselves, we can change the tendencies of the community. And if we can change our nature, the tendencies of the future and of our community will change for us. And to paraphrase the part that we commonly pull from, we need not wait to see what others do. So Dietrich is a prime example of that. Everyone that we have here is benefiting from someone who didn't wait, they took action, they became engaged, and they spoke out. And that's all I can ask you all to do. So touching back a bit to the design that I was looking into, um, that you guys have blown out of the water, we looked into a monument or some sort of plot, but what we have here is far more significant. Not only the location, which is amazing to have, you all also have the Unity House, but with this being both an amphitheater and being called a garden, I, I tried to figure out why are we calling this a garden? Well, the idea of an amphitheater being some place to view or a central location, and as well as a garden being a place to grow and to cultivate, we literally have a place for us to grow and cultivate our community. So let this be a foundation for us to build upon for years to come. And not just for us current students, or sorry, you current students, but for the students that will benefit from this later on. Um, lastly, I'd like to leave you with this thought. Um, Dietrich was you know, the originator. Um, he took action. And you never know what beautiful thing is growing on the other side of your action. So in whatever community and what's Forty-seven years later, when the first African American Greek chapter came to the University of Arkansas, where the Deltas, woo, <laughs> then later on came the brothers of Omega Psi Phi. Where are you, Omegas? Then came, then came Alpha. Bye, Alpha! Are you in the house? Where are my nukes? Where are you guys? Okay, good. Uh, Sigma Gamma Rose. Zetas. Sigmas. Iona. We came here and made a difference. And here we are today. Hey, I'm sorry. Whoa, how can I forget my sister? AKA. <laughs> Woo! My, see, that must happen when you start calling out names. Forgive me. Charge it to my head. It's 67 years standing here, so don't charge it to my heart. I'm sorry about that. But, as I was saying, 47 years, y'all, we've been here. But during those 47 years, we didn't have a home. You know, I want some of y'all to participate with me. If you were here during these times, raise your hand and say amen.
first when we gathered together as Greeks, we was in Pomfret. Remember that Pomfret? In the Pomfret? All right. And then the year we still, then they moved us from there. And then, do anyone remember the little Africa nation? Oh, y'all remember that one? On the corner of by Broth Commons there? Yeah. But we had to move from there. And then we guess slittered it down to the Union on the little steps. Anybody remember that one? Yeah. But we couldn't stay there. Then we also got a, a new house where the Pikes used to be. We had that multicultural center on Arkansas Avenue. Any of you, anyone remember that? Now I'm not by myself. I'm not going to own over there. Come on. But still, we couldn't stay there. And then, 2004, a young lady came to the campus. Where is she, by the way? There she is. And started making a difference. Started listening to the students, saying, we need a place that we can gather together. You know, we had vision, big buildings and all that, and, and then uh, uh, we came here. But thank you, Paris, for your vision. Thank you, Dr. Robinson, for your encouragement, your support. And Melissa, you know I can't not say thank you uh, for all that you have done. Yeah, and where's Mike up there, Russian? Mike, thank you. These people made a difference so that we can be here. We were moved from here to there until we found a place that we can call our very own, the garden. Now, I don't think they can move it. <laughs> See, those are concretes and all. So as I reflect upon what has happened, we have come a very long ways since those 47 years ago when we first came to the campus and made a difference. As students, especially Greek students, you are leaders and you make a difference on this campus. So keep leading, keep making a difference and enjoy this beautiful edifice because this belongs to you and you deserve it. I congratulate you, university. Thank you all for your support and thank you for building this nice Greek garden for the Greeks. Thank you very much. Hey, good morning, y'all. Um, I don't know if I can talk Dr. Colbert's speech, but I'm gonna try. Um, interim, Pre interim Chancellor Robinson, uh, Vice Chancellor of Greek Life, Ms. Reese Bowser, Council Presidents, and PhD Chapter Presidents, and PhD Executive Board, distinguished guests, pleasant morning. It almost seems unreal that merely five years ago, five months ago, well, I was delivering the speech at the groundbreaking ceremony for the very structure we stand here today. From then to now, some of us have came in, some of us have left, myself included. But ultimately, things have changed. It was the philosopher Heraclitus that said, change is the only constant in life. That change could either be good or bad, but as we stand here today, I'd say we had some pretty good change happening here. For many years, countless executive boards and members of administration have worked to give us what we're here to celebrate today. Our past presidents had the vision, I miss the kitchen here, to give us a space that would be able to call our own. As they reflect on this moment, as they played a key role in the development of the members that we have here today, this, therefore, was not just the work of one person or two people, but it was the work of our entire community. But while we pay respect to the people who came before us, we should also pay respect to the people who have a lot of power here today, and that is the members of the present MPHC. The excitement that you must all feel is something truly to be proud of, and the opportunity that you have in this moment is one that would last a lifetime and few schools within the continental United States have that privilege. However, don't think of it as just a space to have events, but think of it as an opportunity to continue to build your community. Not just the communities here at the University of Arkansas. Before I end, 
I would just like to thank the members of administration who made this dream a reality. Thank you for listening to our thoughts, meeting to discuss business plans, and for all your hard work and dedication. Your work does not go unnoticed by the students here at the University of Arkansas. And to end, I want us to reflect on this quote by the ancient Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu. He says, life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them. That only creates sorrow. Let reality be reality and let things flow naturally forward in whatever way they like. Thank you for your time and have a blessed day. Last spring we had a groundbreaking here and many of you were there on that day. And it was the beginning of something extraordinary. We could all feel it, maybe a little tingle right here knowing it was the beginning of something special. But you know, over the summer, uh, Paris and I were here a lot, watching what was happening. And I, I was here with other administrators, and we watched the earth moving begin. We watched the craftsmen pouring the concrete, and we watched the stone cutters. And I was so glad to see the progress going forward. But you know, something was missing. Didn't really know what it was, but something was missing. And in August, when we really started to believe it was all coming together, the same feeling, uh, it was more orderly, things were where we expected them to be, still something, well, something was missing. And even last night, when I was walking by this space on my way to my car, and I saw the generators, and I saw the tents, and I said, well, there's, there, the event will go forward, even if it's a little chilly. Something was missing. It was you. And now you're here. And you are the life and the love in this garden. And that's all we need. So I'm... Dr. Robinson is going to come up, but before he does, I just want to thank him for his unfailing resolve in seeing this project through to this beautiful day. Thank you, Charles. Good morning, everyone. You know, this is a great day, and, and, and you look so good out there. I mean, you look good. I mean, you always look good, but today it's a special level of good. And it's not just what you're wearing, but it's just your, the, the attitudes, the spirit that you have. It's, it's a great day for, for the University of Arkansas. Before I say anything else, I want to recognize a member of our Board of Trustees, Kelly Eichler. Kelly, will you stand, please, so people can see you. Our board is so supportive of everything that we do here on this campus and without them we could not move forward in, in special endeavors like this. I want you to know that this is your university and the reason why this is, has been done and, and, and that Unity House, I mean unbelievable. I walked through the Unity House and saw all the rooms and everybody was just, I, I, I just couldn't help myself. I, I was unaffiliated but I said I need to join somebody. <laughs> because it was so great to see the energy and feel it. But the thing I want you to remember, this is your university. You should never forget that. And in those moments when you're questioning, just remember that there are people like me, Paris, Melissa, and others who are supporting you. Let us know what's going on so that we can continue to support you. And you have to keep believing that things can get better. I know sometimes it's hard, but you believe it. And if you believe it and we work together, we will achieve it together. All right, we got a game to win today. I haven't forgotten. We're gonna beat Auburn today, but we've already won. We've won because we're doing the work right now, the work for you. And keep believing and we will move forward together to an even brighter and better tomorrow for the University of Arkansas. Go Hogs! Go 
Good morning. My name is Carissa Kelly, and I am one of the assistant directors in the Greek Life Office. In celebrating today and honoring this monumentous occasion, we understand that this vision was not an overnight success, but often a relay risk ran from student leader to student leader. And here we stand today at the finish line. At this time, I would like to call Paris Bowser forward as we recognize and honor those students and leaders on campus who held up a, pri a priority position in getting us here today. Interim Vice Chancellor, Dr. Charles Robinson. <laughs> I said leaders. <laughs> Interim Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs, Ms. Melissa Harwood Rome. NPHC President, Ms. Madison Russell. Immediate pass NPHC President, Mr. Khalil Buckmeyer. Former Chapter President of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Mr. Amir Albert. Former MPHC Council President, Mr. Nick Harper. Former Chapter President of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Mr. T.J. Kitchens, Jr. Even in their absence, we would still like to honor and recognize those student leaders who played such a pivotal role in getting us here today. Ms. Jalen Lowry. Ms. Thea Winston. Ms. Delane Coleman, Ms. Rachel Jackson, and last but certainly not least, Mr. Dietrich Wise. At this time, I will turn it over to our Associate Director, Gary Butler, for our blessing. Good morning. Today we stand before you with hearts full of joy, thanksgiving, and gratitude for who you are and what you have done, for all that you have yet to do. We know that our eyes have not seen you and our ears have not heard for what you have in store for our lives. Father, continue to show us and guide us throughout our lives. We thank you for your never failing goodness and your endless love for us. Because of who you are, you have provided us with dreamers and visionaries that has been able to manifest this particular garden today. Thank you for providing us with people in our lives that can produce this reality that we are currently standing on. We're often reminded that write a vision and make it plain up on the tablet so that a runner can, can read it. There is still a vision for an appointed time, and it testifies to the end. It does not deceive. If it delays, wait for it, for it surely is coming, and it will not be late. Thank you for the vision that you have given the students, the administrators, the architects, and others within this space. Thank you for the dreamers and the visionaries, and thank you for those who made this project a reality. We thank you for every single person who had a hand in the development on the space that we call the MPHC Garden. We humbly pray a blessing over this space that you have allowed to be created. We now present this back to you so that it may be used for the advancement of growth, development, and continue to provide a sense of belonging to those who use it. We ask that this space bring an inclusion 
and acknowledgement of your good works. We acknowledge that the world and its resources are not our own, but is yours, and that you have put us in charge as trustees. Help those who use this space to exercise responsibility, the authority that you have given us in this world. Bless this MPHC garden. We ask that you bless all, the who, all those who have given their time, their energy, their prayers, their finances, and their talents towards this building the space of what we call the National Panhellenic Council Garden. We thank you, we honor you, and we love you in your wonderful and powerful name. Amen. Good morning. Before I go into the dedication, I do want to recognize a few people. Please, please give them a round of applause. Let's recognize Olin Landscape Architect, DCI who served as the civil engineers, the Hart Construction Group who basically put all of this together, And last but not least, let's recognize Facilities Management, Scott Turley, Jay Honeycutt, Todd Ferguson, Dan Claremont, Kristen Knight, and Bill Moses, who helped to facilitate all of this for us today. The National Panhellenic Council Incorporated is composed of nine international Greek letter organizations. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, and Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. MPXC promotes interaction through forums, meeting, meetings, and other mediums for the exchange of information and engages in cooperative programming and initiatives through various activities and functions. We dedicate this space to the MPHC charter members who established the U of A Council in March 1992. It is because of them that we are standing before you today. We dedicate this space to our collegiate MPHC members who continue to work with college university administrators to build a constructive working relationship which will lead to the furtherance of their joint objectives. We dedicate this space to serve as a reminder, actually reminders, of history, tradition, commitment, perseverance, and hard work. We dedicate this highly visible space to show the importance of significance of our African American Black Greek Letter organizations on the University of Arkansas campus. We dedicate this space for MPHC to continue promoting interaction through forums, meetings, and other mediums for, again, the exchange of information and to get, engage in cooperative programming. We dedicate this space to our MPHC and member organizations to continue to strive in the spirit of unity of upholding the principles and policies of your great organizations and the University of Arkansas. Too much is given much is required. Do not allow all the labor and work that has been done to be in vain. May today's celebration be a reminder that all things are possible for those who believe. Dietrich Wise had a little bit of faith, but a heart full of hope. He believed. May today's celebration serve as a reminder that teamwork truly makes the dream work. Todd Kitchen, Bill Winston, Rachel Jackson, Nick Harper, Emil Albert, Delane Coleman, Khalil Burkmeyer, Madison Russell are all shining examples of the meaning of where there is unity, there is strength. So we dedicate this space to each of these individuals for their desire to create a space of belonging, a space to celebrate traditions, a space to create community. This space is called the MPAC Garden at the University of Arkansas. I'm gonna say it again because y'all did not do it like you were excited. I said this space is called the MPAC Garden at the University of Arkansas. May this space 
be a blessing for all who walk along the grounds now and forevermore. At this time, I'm going to ask everyone to remain seated. For those of you who are standing by the monuments, I'm going to ask that you kind of move over to the side because we're going to do some things in just a moment. If you're standing by a monument, please move to the side. We're going to take some photos and we're going to cut ribbon. At this time, I'm going to ask Chancellor Robinson and others on the stage to join me right here. And someone from my staff to help me to move the podium.